Hello and welcome to Technic Force tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Office 365 in Pursu app. When you log in to your Pursu app account, go to Mailers tab on the left navigation menu. From our last videos, we talked about on how to integrate SMTP and Gmail API. Start by clicking on this plus icon at the bottom right corner and click on the third mailer which is the Office 365. Take note that these three were just added and more mailers will be added eventually. Enter your basic details. The title of this mailer, the from name, from email, reply name, and the reply email. In this credential section, we need to have the client ID, client secret, tenant, and the API key. So let us get first the client ID. The first thing that you need to do is to log in to portal.azure.com. If you don't have an account, you can just create one. On the top left corner, you will see the three line icon. Click it and select Azure Active Directory. You will see this tenant information. The next thing you'd like to do is to go to this app registrations tab on the left hand side. As you can see, I have two apps added. If you don't have an app yet, you can just click this new registration button to create new and if you have, you can just use the existing one. So let me create one for you. Name would be Purso App. Supported account type would be personal Microsoft accounts only. In this section, it asks you to add redirect URL. If you want, you can just remain it as web and go back to Purso app configuration page, copy redirect URL and paste it here. Click on register. There you have it. You get now your application or client ID just click this copy icon to copy to clipboard and paste it to your client ID in Porso app configuration page. The second one to get is the client secret. You just have to go to certificates and secrets in the left navigation menu. On the client secret section, click on the new client secret button to add one. It will ask you the description. Let me have API secret for Purso app and the expiration. You can just hit on never if you want it to be active forever. But let me have this one year in my case. Take note that after one year, this client secret expires and it will require you to create one again. So let me copy the value and paste it to the client secret. Select your tenant. I'll have it consumers by default. Then on this API key, you can just click on generate button. A file pops up, copy everything, and paste it as your API key. Everything is all set. If you want to test whether or not it will work, you can just click on the test the mailer button. Add a sample email, random title, and a random content. It works! You can now save it. I hope you find this video helpful. We also have a bunch of videos and demos on this channel. Take a look and you might also find tutorials about the other apps too, which might help you succeed in internet marketing. Thanks for watching!